How's it going everyone? It's Jay from TheBearHeads.com here with another review for today. Now today's review is a Drought Mini Cake and it's Newcastle Brown Ale. Got today's fun facts so let's get started on today's review. Now manufactured by Heineken International, Newcastle was first introduced in 1927. It swept the boards at the prestigious 1928 International Brewery Awards. Now the gold medals are still used on the label of Newcastle. Um, in 1928, they added a blue star and the five points represent the five founding breweries of Newcastle. Um, nicknames that were given to Newcastle are Dog. The reason why they call it Dog is because of back in England, a lot of uh, the guys out there used to tell their wives, I'm gonna go walk the dog, and they would actually go to the brew pubs and uh, get themselves a pint. Uh, other nicknames include um, Brown, Brune, Nuki, and Nuki Brune. Um, in England, they serve uh, Newcastle in a pint glass. Uh, typically, it's served in a 12-ounce Wellington glass, which maintains its uh, frothy head. And uh, Newcastle has uh, branded their own Wellington glass, calling it the uh, Jordi Schooner. Uh, we don't got a schooner today of Newcastle. But we do got the English style pub glass, which is a nonic glass, pint glass that uh, holds 20 ounces, which is uh, usually served in England. Uh, when you get this, you want to uh, let it chill in your fridge for about 10 hours, or if not, in the freezer for about 2 to 3 to get it chilled. On the drought cake right here is a circle of a pint glass, and when that turns blue, you'll know when your beer is ready to be served. Um, they also give you this paper to show you how to use the drought cake and the steps in process and here's what you get inside of it so you get this we'll turn this upside down to show you guys and you want to uh, get everything in here and this is how you do it you just, uh, before you do all this you want to get warm water and uh, just Drain this out with warm water, just getting, you know, dust or anything out of there. Um, you just put it in like that. You want to make sure this is down, not up, because if it is up, and you pop this in, a lot of beer is going to come out. So we're going to put this in so I can show you guys. And it is uh, simple as that. Now... You do not want to pour this at a fast rate or else you're going to get a ridiculous big head. Uh, so, a lot of people when they pour it, they get a ridiculous amount of head. You normally want a one inch finger or finger head in here. So you want to pour this at a slow rate and uh, just pour it right in the middle. Oh man, right already. Look at that. Look at all that foam, my goodness. That's crazy. I hope this was not shooken when it was uh, shipped to me. And that's all bad, man. Jesus Christ. Now this is, uh, this is not the type of, uh, beer I wanted to get. <laughs> man. Now, this is not my fault of pouring it the wrong way or having uh, putting the pressure the wrong way. Uh, this cake must have been shook or something. But, uh, yeah, definitely getting a nice Newcastle smell already. So, uh, I'm going to let this sit here for a while and try to let this foam go down, man. Cause this is too much foam. Uh, but before I get into this review also, I just want to thank... Uh, uh, Ferrari Arbrahani from Formula PR for sending me this drought cake and for also sending me the six pack of Newcastle Summer Ale. Uh, we already did that review and we'll be putting it up pretty soon. Um, so, yes, this head is just sitting here. So, uh, if you ever get this mount head, technique you use the grease on your fingers or the grease on your nose to break down the head. You just want to just touch. Thank you. 
still not breaking down. So let's just get into the re the review and get the smell and the aromas on this. Getting some nice roast malts, caramel. Almost of a earthy hop tone in here. And just a roasty beer of the caramel of the Newcastle Brown Ale. And uh, this is a 4.7% ABV English Brown Ale. So, uh, might as well just get to trying it. So, cheers. Let me remove some of this head real quick. Actually, before I do that, let me get to the color on this. The color on this is like a a brown reddish hue. Uh, the head is a small bubble. It's really small, frothy, fluffy head. Real creamy. It's um, a khaki off-white color. But yeah, that is the uh, color on this. The aromas, that's what I gave you on the aromas. I gave you all that. The lacing is very, very creamy. Now, the last time they sent me a drought cake, and it was definitely tasting like metallic bad batch. Out of this one, not getting that at all. This is a fresh drought cake right here. Almost of a light body, but it's a medium body beer. Not watery at all. Um, getting all the caramel malts, all the light roast malts. In the back of the palate, getting the okay bitterness in the side of the palate as well. Hands down, one of my favorite beers, and I really enjoy Newcastle. So as you can see now, the flow is a lot better. I'm not getting as much head. Getting this. Wow. Well, it's better than last time. You've seen all the way right there. But yeah, definitely a great beer from Newcastle. I'm a fan of theirs and I always enjoy Newcastle Brown. It was one of the first beers that got me to change my mind about beer. And that's what introduced me to the whole craft beer scene. And uh, this is the reason why it is. This is always going to be my go-to beer no matter what. This is the one. Uh, out of a 10, the aroma on this is decent. The taste on this is excellent. The drinkability on this is just hands down 100%. The mouthful on this is, is good. Out of a 10, I'm going to give this one a 7. Uh, making this... Um, a B minus beer, and it's hands down my favorite beer of all time. The one and only Newcastle Brown, aka Nuki Brown, for all your Newcastle fanatics out there. Uh, it's been another great beer review. This is Jay from the Beer Heads. Catch me on the website www.thebeerheads.com, where you can get some more great info. And if you'd like to send us some beer, hit me on the website on my contact info, and you can send me some stuff. I'd appreciate that, and I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I enjoy it. Till the next time, I'll see you guys later. Like I always say, live, learn, and drink. Life is too short.